Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week, we're covering The Android Show, the 2022 Google for Games Developer Summit, Google Play Safety and Privacy 2022 Initiatives, App Excellence, the Introduction to App Architecture Mad Series, App Archiving, some great articles, Android X releases, and more. Last week, Florina and Hu Yen hosted the Android Show, where we went behind the scenes with animations and Jetpack Compose, asked whether now is the right moment to think tablet first, and covered Android 13, along with other key themes for Android this year. There is even a short attention span ready 60 second summary. This week marked the 2022 Google for Games Developer Summit, where the Android team shared information around services, tools, and features to help you develop and deliver games. We covered gameplay across tablets, foldables, and Chromebooks, the Google Play Games for PC beta, and the opening up of the Play As You Download beta program. There were updates to the Android Game Development Kit, such as the new Memory Advice API, and updates from Google Play, such as the addition of Google Play Revenue to reach and devices. We shared information about what's ahead in 2022 for Google Play's privacy and safety initiatives to give you time to prepare. The upcoming data safety section in your app's Play Store listing will start showing up in the Google Play Store in late April, so submit your data safety form soon. Completed data safety forms will be required for all app updates starting July 20th. We also covered the Privacy Sandbox initiative, the Play Integrity API, what we're doing to help you navigate the use of SDKs and services, how we're enhancing protections for kids and families, and best practices around data collection. App archiving will allow users to reclaim around 60% of app storage temporarily by removing parts of an app rather than uninstalling the app completely, and can be restored whilst preserving user data. Bundle Tool 1.10 and the Android Gradle Plugin 7.3 include the first step towards writing your app for archived APKs in anticipation of the consumer launch later in the year. The Data Store Mad Skill series is now complete, so Simona posted a wrap up summarizing everything we covered. Manuel began the new Introduction to Architecture Mad Skills series, helping you to think like an architect when designing and constructing your apps. The series will go through our recommended app architecture guidelines that provide the foundation for building robust, high-quality apps. Guidelines that apply whether you're building an app using the View system or Jetpack Compose. The series will cover the data, domain, and UI layers along with how to handle UI events and will culminate in a live Q&A session, so make sure to follow along. For ongoing content, be sure to check out the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or a handy landing page that points to all of it. In his Unbundling the Stable Window Manager article, Pietro covered the 1.0 stable release of Jetpack Window Manager, which provides foldable device hinge orientation and state, can compatibly retrieve the current and maximum window metrics information, and can help you take advantage of activity embedding if supported by the device. Jerry and Trevor introduced the Camera X Video Capture API and covered how to use it in your apps. The article includes adding dependencies, creating the recorder, controlling the recording at runtime, and more. Marcel demystified Jetpack Glance for app widgets, answering questions around defining metadata, theming and styles, taking advantage of dynamic colors with support for dark and light themes, creating shapes, updating your widget, managing state, working with Android Studio's tooling, and more. Andrew and John shared the Google Play Store strategy for adopting Jetpack Compose while it was still in pre-alpha, why they did it, how they overcame specific performance challenges, and how adopting Compose improved developer productivity and happiness. Finally, Martin covered the removal of the Kotlin Android Extensions Gradle plugin in Kotlin 1.8, which will likely happen before the end of 2022. The article recommends using view binding instead of the synthetics the plugin provides, and we have a handy migration guide to help. Also, the Partialize feature is now available in the standalone Kotlin Partialize plugin. In Android X, Room 2.5 Alpha 1 converted Room Common, Room Migration, and Paging-related files in Room Runtime from Java to Kotlin, and added a new API to protect multi-process first-time database creation and migrations. Games Activity version 1.1 added window insets, listening, querying for notch, and IME response along with key and motion event filters. We also had a bunch of bug fix releases, such as Compose 1.1.1, Paging 3.1.1, Emoji 2 1.1, version 1.10 of the frame pacing library, and Room 2.4.2.
So that's it for this time with the Android show, game development, safety, app excellence, app architecture, archiving, some great articles, Android releases, and more. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe and stay safe out there.